Are you cold? Do you like sewing? Need an improvement with your style? Well, all you need is a deer skin, some oak bark tea, some animal fat, and some scissors, and you can make yourself a super stylish, super cozy, multifunctional waistcoat sleeping mat thing. Hi folks, Tom from Van Dabby Dozy, thanks for tuning in. So if you're new to the channel, I like making videos around the topic of wilderness living skills, often from a historical perspective. And what I love about this so much is it forces you to simplify life to its absolute basics. And through this allows you to explore really simple multifunctional tools that allow us to meet our foundational survival priorities. Now, if we look at the basic survival priorities, once we've figured out that we're still breathing, the next thing we need to worry about is maintaining our core body temperature. And generally our clothing is our first line of defense for this. So what is a really basic multifunctional type of clothing? Now I've already done a past video looking at the great kilt, which to me is just a really beautiful, simple, multifunctional piece of cloth that can be used to maintain our core body temperature through clothing and through shelter. But in this video, I wanted to share a sort of accidental invention of mine, which although isn't quite as neat and as multifunctional as the great kilt, I believe it beats it in simplicity and the fact that you can make it yourself from scratch. Now animal skin is arguably the first type of material humans started to make clothing from, and I believe it is still superior in its thermal qualities compared to many other modern fabrics. Now before I show you how I made this really simple item, let's first remind ourselves how, how we lose our heat to the environment and what we can do to try combat that. So in basic physics, there are three ways heat is lost, through radiation, conduction, and convection. And in the outdoors, this best translates as when we expose our skin on a still cold day, we experience heat loss through radiation. Chilly. Oh. When we sit or lay down on the cold bare ground, we experience conduction as the earth sucks out our body heat. And when we get wet by the rain or sweat and moisture evaporates or is blown by the wind, we experience convection. So simply put, how to battle these in cold climates is to layer up, keep off the wind and wet, and stay off the ground. This applies to how you use your clothing and when creating shelter. So now we've got some context on how we can maintain our core body temperature. Why am I making a video about a really basic waistcoat? Well, it all started when I first saw an illustration of a Highlander wearing what looks like a deerskin waistcoat. Now, I don't know how historically accurate that illustration is, but it at least sparked a wee idea in my head and I thought, I want to make a waistcoat like that. So. I went to visit my buddy Peter Annanen from Woodland Tannery along with my work experience student Jason and there we spent a few days tanning animal skins and making equipment for my Highlander expedition. Now while we were there Peter sold Jason a template of a waistcoat made from sheepskin and Jason just sewed up the shoulders and just after doing that we realized that yeah, we've got this sort of y-shaped piece of uh, animal skin that can be used as a waistcoat either way but it can also be opened out and laid on the ground as a sleeping mat to protect us from conduction from the ground. So it was just a wee idea from playing around with some animal skins but it sparked something in me thinking well can I make it even even more simple something that doesn't require any templates any sewing at all you just need a big enough piece of skin and this is what I came up with. So it all started with a raw red deer hide that had been preserved in salt. So the first thing to do was to scrape off the salt and any leftover fat or flesh left on the skin. Once the skin was cleaned up, the next thing to do was to tan it with a strong oak bark solution. This is basically a really strong cup of tea made from oak tree bark. The tannins from which seep into the skin, protecting it from bacteria decomposing it. I applied three coats of tannin solution, making sure to cover every part of the raw skin, and I allowed it to dry in between the coats. Now if you want more information on hide tanning, check out my video on the subject, and my tanned cow stomach video. Once the skin was dry from the three coats of tannin solution, I then rubbed in melted lard in order to waterproof it and stop the tannins washing out. 
It was several months later before I got around to making a piece of clothing from it and I knew I just wanted something really simple that wouldn't require any sewing. So I just had a bit of a play. The first most simple thing I could think of was to just cut a hole in the middle to fit my head through to make a really simple poncho. This provides rain cover and insulation from above but it's really bulky and doesn't insulate you from the sides. So the next thing I tried was to cut a slit down the centre to meet the head hole to create two sides that could be wrapped around the body. This at least brought it closer around the body but it's still too bulky so using my wool jacket as a reference I cut off the excess to better fit my shoulders. The result was a symmetrical U-shaped animal hide. With a couple of belt slits cut into the back of the hide, I could then use a sash to secure the whole thing around my body, making a super cosy waistcoat that can be worn with the hair in or out and can still be opened up and laid on the ground to insulate from conduction. So after the tanning of the skin itself, the waistcoat only took about five minutes to make. So as you can imagine, it's a bit less than perfect. I could do with some improvements. One thing I regret is I made the, the head hole a bit big and you can see there's a bit of an opening at the back. Also, this kind of really basic belt system with the two, two uh, slits and a belt does have a tendency to come loose when I'm moving. Um, but I could just add a few things to improve this. I could potentially add a couple of belt loops at the front and maybe even a couple of buttons that would attach these uh, side bits together, stopping that opening up and keeping sort of under my armpit warm. But other than that, considering how simple it is, I really like it. And especially when wearing it like this with the fur on the inside and the skin on the outside, it's super cozy. It's just like wearing a big hug. And you know, the animal fat treated on the skin side makes it fairly waterproof. And you know, it just covers all my vital organs, keeps my core really, really cozy. And obviously you can't wear it as a waistcoat and as a sleeping mat at the same time but to me it's quite nice to have that option to have an item of clothing that can be used as a uh, protection from conduction just as itself and especially if you put the skin side down the waterproof side down on the ground the fur side up it's a really really comfy wee sleeping mattress so there we go folks although it's not perfect it's not that pretty but when we're talking about finding a really simple multifunctional way of maintaining our core body temperature using materials from the environment that really anyone can make and to me this is a pretty good winner but thanks for watching folks don't forget to subscribe and ring that wee bell if you want monthly extra content then consider supporting me in patreon any support there is truly appreciated thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next month in another video cheers